Um, yesterday it was announced Andy Joshua will be taking on Pule. Mm. I was reading a lot on social media about people's reviews about the fight. A lot of people were saying that this is going to be a tough fight for Andy Joshua. It could, it could um, potentially be a tough fight. What are your thoughts? Joshua. I believe Andy Joshua is the superior athlete, superior boxer. Um, he's younger, he's fresher. Um, if you're not sure about what um, Pule was about, watch his fight with uh, Derek Chisora. You know, we had a 12 round, a tough 12 round fight with Kevin Shaw. He won the fight by a few rounds. But I think it might, was it a split decision that fight? I can't remember. I think so, yeah. It might be a split decision. But I, I, uh, I can't see Pulev, Pulev beating someone like Andy Joshua. You know, if, if, if Klitschko couldn't do it, if, you know, if, if, if Dylan White can do it, you know, I don't, I don't see how Pulev. As a child. He's a Pulev, I believe, is kind of a, Euro, a solid European level fighter. Mm. But I don't Only had that one loss, 36 years old. Yeah, I know. I think if he was going to have done something, he would have done something by now. I think it's a perfect time for Anthony Joshua now to go out there. I think he can knock him out and knock him out pretty, pretty handily. You know, Klitschko took him out of a left hook, I believe, a faint jab left hook. Pulev's head's right, but he's got a typical European style, his head's up in the air, he's, he does this sort of the amateur sort of fencing with the arm. You know, yeah. Joshua's, Joshua's quite an Olympic gold medalist, he understands that fencing game. Mm -hmm. And I think he needs to shoot his right hand to Pulev's body. Pulev won't like it, Pulev will duck down and he'll, he'll knock Pulev out of the left hook in point third or ground. That's my prediction anyway. Is that, is that the fight, Joshua, still on your horizon next year? I'd love it. I, I, you can't be talking about wanting to fight him yet. You know, he's got a busy take. I've got to get back in the ring and prove to people my body's not going to fall apart as soon as the first bell rings. So I've got stuff to prove before I can start any type of campaign mm -hmm. uh, about building a fight between me and Joshua. You know, but if that was to happen, say, middle of next year, uh, you don't have to be a genius to work out how big the fight would be. But a lot of stuff needs to happen prior to that, for that to be even a viable option. At the moment, it's, it's not on the table, it's never been spoken about on the table. I've got, I've got, I've got, uh, just had an operation six months ago on my Achilles, so I've got to get in the ring and prove that I'm in one piece. And um, if I can do that in good style, then I might, then I might start talking about you know, the biggest, that's the biggest uh, challenge out there in the world of boxing in the heavyweight division right now. Someone who's 100% knockout ratio, you know, uh, Josh was 10 years younger than me, you know, 35 to 40 pounds bigger than me. He's a, he's a whole three inches taller. He's a, it's a challenge, that would be the biggest possible challenge. But that's, that's, that's why I'm in, that's why I'm in boxing.